Hello. Well, it's the end of the year, and um, I just wanted to address some sort of changes uh, to this channel, um, particularly the uh, film talk uh, series that I do. Um, I basically want to have every Friday be a film talk episode, so... I wanted to do that earlier this year, but I uh, want to, because this year I really was more consistent of releasing videos of any kind. Um, and uh, I think you could say that even in 2017, if you look back. Certainly by 2016, I started to do more videos throughout the year, but really, uh, last year and this year, I really. Uh, upped the ante in that I started to essentially begin to, uh, like, once a week or so, have a video, and then that gradually turned into twice a week, uh, the booking end of the week. And, um, and while that was fun, at the same time, I kind of got a bit exhausted. Um, I did take a break here and there, uh, like when I had my birthday week I did nothing at all well I made one video that was it uh, but you know sometimes I would just take breaks here and there to help uh, uh, you know just to be able to uh, recoup essentially and not have to overload on oh I have to plan on doing this or that I want to do this video or that video Granted, I haven't been the biggest person ever on YouTube, so honestly, it probably would not have been a big deal if I hadn't done so. Um, I do, however, uh, upload or share my videos all over social media, every social media account I have, like Twitter, uh, Minds, Gab, uh, even MeWe, this new thing uh, that I learned about this year. It wasn't really promoted a whole lot, except I saw some video with people talking on social media and the problems people have had. And that was mentioned, and they said, I think a big thing is, also, they don't have a website. Even though a lot of people do only mobile, they only do um, stuff on their phone, there are people who do have, they like to do things on the computer. They don't like to do stuff only on their phone. Or maybe some just essentially do the exact opposite and do only everything on their computer. I mean, sure, they might text and call people and this and that, but they generally might just like like their computer more, like their laptop or whatever. And in a way, with lack of promotion, it was only through, I forget what video, but it was a video I saw about discussing social media because you know people have a problem with it, like censorship and stuff and people getting suspended or blocked or from using their account for X amount of, I guess that's suspension, but whatever, you understand what I mean. Um, and uh, I've really shared it everywhere. I have, I'm a part of various groups on Facebook, you know, from things I like, I like, uh, like Star Wars, um, there's a Jaws um, group. Batman, horror movies and other stuff, Criterion, and so many different groups I'm a part of, and that's really, I would say, the only reason I am on Facebook anymore is to share these videos. I mean, sure, uh, I do post stuff on Facebook, I do interact with people who are not in my, um, around my state anymore, or around the area that I live in and are far away, some, uh, you know, are in a different state, some are in a different country. Um, so because of that, you know, I, uh, uh, I go on and, but really I would say the bulk of it anymore is really interacting through groups. Any kind of group, be it Star Wars or Batman or whatever kind of group I'm a part of, that's really the only reason I am on Facebook anymore. And I've noticed my uh, 
viewer and subscriber account grow. I made it over 100 subscribers this year. A 10-year-old channel finally got broke 100. Uh, then again, as I've mentioned earlier, it's only within the last couple of years I began really posting regularly, making videos on a regular sort of basis. Started slowly in 2016, but then I got a rhythm going in 2017 and 2018 this year. And um, I want to kind of do something different. I want to just do like once a week, make a video or like film talk. I mean, and sure, I might make a, two videos in a week, but I don't want that to be a consistent thing anymore. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with doing two videos a week or even a video every single day. Some people even pump out like two videos a day, three videos a day. I'm like, I couldn't do that. Um, maybe I could, but uh, I don't know. Another reason is also, you know, as I've talked about you know, with movies, you know, I've written movies and I've even talked about potentially um, making a movie. Actually, I will make a movie, but I want it next year. I want to film it next year. Actually, two. And I've talked about possibly doing a crowdfunding, but no response on that at all. I'm not surprised. I have talked to some people, though, who aren't trying to tell me exactly what to do and how to do it. And if I don't ever do it this certain way, I will never be successful ever in the film industry, and I should just give up and stop. Because there are people who are like that. If you don't do it this specific way, you will never make it. You can't make it. Impossible. And I'm like, um, there's many people who have been successful and they have done none of that stuff. They didn't move to L.A. There are some people who will never move to L.A. You know. Sure, it could be New York. Uh, but honestly, anymore with streaming and stuff, you can really just make a movie and put it out anywhere. Granted, uh, funding for a movie is hard, but um, again, I don't know. It's unfortunate, though, that nobody ever paid attention to the crowdfunding thing I did. I even posted a bunch of crowdfunding groups, and nobody did anything with that. At most, they liked it, but I knew that I know for a fact they never watched it. Uh, like there's like a bunch of likes, and there was only a couple of views. That's it. Nobody cared. Then again, if you don't have a following, nobody will ever care. And that's the thing I kept telling these people, and they, I don't know, I guess they don't understand that. They don't get that if you have a very few subscriber account on your YouTube, and no matter how simple you try to make something to also appeal to people, I guess they don't understand it. They don't understand the problem. And then again, I guess because like they, some live in L.A., some live in New York, some live on, near these places... So, if you live near any of these places, it may be simple for you or anybody you know who has been successful with crowdfunding, but for somebody like me who lives out in the Midwest, it's impossible, or at least next to impossible, I should say. It isn't impossible, but it's so, so close. that It's like, there's no real point. And someone said sponsorship, and I'm like... I've looked around online and stuff. I'm like, I don't know who would ever want to sponsor me. Who would want to sponsor my movie? And even if I was able to find somebody, like, how would I be able to properly implement uh, something? Uh, like, if it's not like a beverage or something um, that could be used in a scene or two here and there, how could I ever use them in my movie? That's the biggest thing. And, um, yeah, I just want to make this update, essentially, to try and let you all know what I'm trying to do. I have some ideas and some kind of thoughts on how to do the movie in terms of funding. I might look at crowdfunding, but I really need everybody to look at the thing, watch it all the way through. It doesn't matter if it's, like, 20 minutes long. Watch it, because I want to be thorough. I don't want to be one of those people like, oh, I made a five-minute video and left out a bunch of details that's completely important. And then uh, you give me money, and then, uh, oh, you're essentially screwed because, oh, you can't ever get your money back if this doesn't happen or whatever. Or I can't refund you or anything like that. Though I don't, I doubt that would happen. If I got X amount of money, I would uh, 
make a product. I would make something. I would get people together. And like, for X amount of weeks, we're going to make this thing. And then I would like to split the money in half. People say you need $100,000 anymore. That's the base minimum you could ever make an independent film for. I'll split that in half, make have 50000 uh, a kit. Uh, a film. Did I say 100 million? I meant 100,000. Uh, whatever. Basically, this is an update video. Uh, turned into a little bit of a rant. I didn't mean to, but I just want to let you all know what's up and uh, also to thank you all for uh, those new subscribers. Um, perhaps if I had uh, <laughs> done all this a lot years ago. At least 2010, maybe I would have. I've been in a couple of hundreds by now, maybe even a thousand. I don't know. I don't know how likely that could have ever been, but I do want you all to know I appreciate all the subscribers, and I hope you will stay tuned and will actually care about what I have to offer regarding the films I make, because there will be two. And that's it. Next Friday will be the very next film talk. Well, actually, today will be the next film talk, but nothing this Friday. Nothing. As of next week, it will only be on Fridays. So, um, there you go. Um, yeah. That's really all I have to say, so, um... Till next time, hope you all have a good day and have a good week.